hundreds of people from the tourism um, industry all across Africa have gathered here in the capital of Botswana, Gaborone, um, to take part in the African Leadership Tourism um, Forum, all with one common aim and objective to promote the Destination Africa agenda. <music> The Africa Tourism Leadership Forum, ALTF, is a key Pan-African platform that brings together leaders from Africa's travel, tourism, hospitality and aviation sectors. It focuses on sharing insights, developing strategies to boost intra-African travel and fostering network opportunities. The forum also aims to strengthen the global brand of Destination Africa and promote tourism growth across the continent. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the 7th edition in Botswana, the Vice President of Botswana, Slamba Chogwani, said the country is investing a lot of resources to develop its tourism sector, touting the country's beef as the best in the world. Tourism in Botswana is a major contributor to the national economy and has tremendous potential to grow. It is for this reason that Botswana government has reviewed its tourism policy and also developed the national tourism strategy and master plan to provide relevant frameworks for developing the sector. I invite you to make time to visit Botswana's beautiful attractions within the greater Gaborone area, further out to the Okavango, which is the second largest inland delta in the world. Visit the mighty Chobe National Park with largest savanna elephant population densities in the world. The list is endless. Finally, I trust you will have a chance to test our beef, which is compared to none in the world. I'm sure you have already tested it. I'm sure you have already wondered what type of beef is this. So please enjoy it. Chief Executive Officer of the Africa Tourism Partners, organizers of the event, Kwachi Donko, reaffirmed the commitment of ATP to helping African nations unlock their tourism potential. We had a program for youth called the Youth in Tourism Innovation Summit and Challenge, which has been going on for the past six years. And all the time, the top three winners are announced in Botswana. Technology, Cape Peninsula University of Technology, Strathmore University of Kenya, University Business School of Ghana, and United Nations World Tourism Organization, Ministry of Tourism and Media, responsible for tourism. We will be launching the Africa Tourism Innovation Hub in Cape Town the 16th of this month. And once again, we are very grateful to Botswana for that. Director Trade in Services Investment, IPR and Digital Trade at the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, Emily Nguru Indoria, encouraged countries to implement mechanisms to capitalize on tourism and outlined AFTER's ongoing support initiatives. The UN Tourism Regional Director for Africa, Elsia Grand Court, stated that her organization is collaborating with stakeholders to simplify travel across Africa, which will boost tourism continent-wide. Dear friends, despite the growth, challenges remain. Connectivity has been identified as a key issue that needs to be addressed to fully unleash Africa's tourism potential. And this recently, my dear friends, was reiterated by the ministers of tourism as they met at the 67th Regional Commission for Africa. Enhancing connectivity for seamless travel will not only attract more international tourists, but also boost intra-regional tourism, a crucial element for the continent's tourism growth. In UN Tourism, we remain committed to work closely with the national administrations of the member states, as well as the regional and international organizations and public private sector stakeholders. Our focus remains on air connectivity, 
advocating for a single unified air transport market in line with AU's SATAM, travel facilitation, simplifying visa entry requirements and promoting cross-border cooperation to ease movements.